it's Sandman UK here. Thank you for all your tips in the last video. Uh, today we're going to be moving my Lacius Flavis Queen into a new test tube setup. So enjoy the video guys and thank you so much. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you. So guys, today is the day that I'm going to move the uh, Lacius Flavis Queen. So I started off by detaching the test tube from the formicarium and then I used a little tool um, it's just a piece of wire just to remove the cucumber that I left over from last time when I fed her and then I was measuring up the test tube against the current test tube to try and work out how close I need her to the front of the test tube for future recordings in macro because if it's too far away, if she's too far back in the test tube, I'm not going to be able to record her. But if she's more near to the front, it's going to be making my life easier when it comes to the actual recording of her. So I wanted to make sure as well that she had plenty of water compared to this last test tube. Um, I never set up this test tube that I got her in because the people who sent her to me, um, it came like that, which shocked me a little bit. I should have moved her from the beginning but she had lots of workers so obviously I got a fresh test tube started filling it up I think I filled it about three quarters of the way with some fresh water and then I got the cotton as we usually do but I wasn't too keen on the cotton I thought at first you know maybe I've grabbed a bit too much here so I'm trying to pull it apart um, to make it just right so I put the uh, cotton into the test tube and I got a lighter <laughs> just to push the, <laughs> the cotton into the water. Now, you know, I was looking around, I was like, oh, what am I going to use to push the cotton into the into the water? And that was the closest thing next to me. So I was like, oh, I'll just grab the candle lighter. And I pushed the uh, cotton right in there so it started soaking up the water. So then, guys, I decided, okay, so what am I going to do here to get her into this new test tube? So my camera died at this point and I had to switch to my other camera but I ended up joining the two test tubes together not with any sellotape or anything just facing each other now this is where the waiting game begins I was sat here patiently waiting and waiting and waiting for ages just watching this ant hoping that eventually she was gonna move and a few times she walked up to it and she turned around and she went back to the cotton in her nest. Um, it was quite the waiting game, you know. I thought I'll just leave her to it and see if she actually eventually does move into it. So at some point, I had to cut off the camera quite a lot because I was using up all my battery and recording time. Um, and I think I was sat there for a good 45 minutes waiting. But you know, I was surprised that it didn't have. I didn't have to go into the efforts of using like uh, lighting and put in the other test tube in the dark and eventually she did move across now I've noticed when she's moving though she's got like a slight limp to her and she seems to be shuffling now I don't know what why this is maybe she was injured when I bought her or maybe she's uh, I don't know low on energy or something but it does seem like um, she does have a slight little limp you'll be able to see it in the close-up footage so obviously I just sealed off the uh, test tube set up here, let her chill out for a bit and then I decided that, you know what, I'll um, do some close up footage of her for you guys just to see her settling in. She still was a bit like unsure of her surroundings, but give her 24 hours and she'll be um, sound as a pound. Anyway guys, so here you go, She's it's this close up footage, but it was very difficult because she was constantly moving so I'm trying to move the camera to keep it in focus and all this stuff, you know. Uh, but as you can see guys, she looks absolutely stunning. She is gold. She's like 24 karat gold. She is a gold ant. She must be rich. Maybe she could give me some money and some tips on how to make good money. Maybe I could sell her. <laughs> I'm only joking. Anyway guys, thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for all those likes and comments and all those useful tips that you gave me in the previous video. I wouldn't have done this without you guys. Um, I'm going to end up feeding her some point later on tonight before I go to bed. Anyway guys, thank you so much. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I'm on UK.